I could be wrong, and I kind of hope that I am, but you might have to suspend disbelief with icy igloo in, because at one point they mentioned there was no electricity in the igloo, fair enough, but several days into it and the characters are still using their mobile phones. And bearing in mind this was published in 99, maybe 2000, I will double check. This was published in, okay, 2005, so a little bit later than I thought. But I'm not entirely sure power banks and things were quite a thing at the time. Um, so there are certain things where you kind of need to suspend disbelief. But if I'm wrong about that, fantastic. This is a very snowy New Adventures of Mary Kate and Ashley because they're staying at the Icy Igloo Inn, which is a hotel made entirely out of ice. And... Initially, I did think, actually, no, they'll they'll have some... I actually Googled it. I Googled, can igloos have electricity? And there are kind of ways that you can do it. Um, so I thought, yeah, fair enough. And then actually, at one point in the book, they did point out there's no electricity there. Um, so I kind of thought, okay, there are some things that you just have to take with a pinch of salt. But it seems that something or someone is starting to melt the ice at various points around the inn. And the trench coat twins, Mary Kane and Ashley, take it upon themselves to try and find out who is melting me in. I had my suspicions and I was correct. But I didn't feel that much satisfaction with being correct because I felt like it was kind of obvious. Maybe it wasn't obvious. Maybe I've just read so many of these now that I kind of know the signs and know what to look out for. But personally, I thought it was obvious, but I still enjoyed it. I think all of the characters, apart from Jade who is the mother of the supermodel child, Dakota. Jade is exceptionally annoying. But the rest of them are uh, quite likeable and quite fun to read. I thought it was a pretty decent narrative, a lot of snowy terms and kind of wintry vibes. There is a description of the park as at one point. This is something I've mentioned before with these books. It's very rare that there will be a description in a book that matches the cover for any book ever. But with these, on a good few occasions, there's been a description in the book of the clothing that Mary Kate and Ashley are wearing on the cover. And I just love that attention to detail. Um, I have to say the cover is stunning. It is an absolutely gorgeous cover. That's the back of the book for anybody who's interested. And we actually do have photos in this one. I can get to the right page. We just have a reprint of the front cover and then clue in a little hat. As always, the text is a pretty large size. The chapters are quite short, so not too difficult for younger readers. I love the merchandise plugs at the end. It just takes me straight back to my childhood. Um, but this one I enjoyed. I liked it. Uh, it's not my absolute favourite, but from start to finish, I thought it was pretty well written. Pretty well developed narrative. Yes, I thought it was obvious, but again, that could be just because I've read so many of these in such a short space of time that I'm slowly starting to pick up on clues, I guess. Either way, I see a glue in was a pretty fun read.